So I'm Sarah Hornbuckle. I'm married to Michael Hornbuckle. So him and I together, we run the Hornbuckle Foundation. We have three kids. They're 11, 12, and 15. So if you can imagine, we are in it. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of the skills that I learned as far as motivational interviewing and coaching, I didn't realize how many years actually was from parenting. It was August 5th of 2019, and my oldest son um, ended up threatening to kill himself. And in my experience, both in my faith and in recovery, when stuff hits the fan, that means there's some, there's some change happening. There's some course correction. There's something ahead and it's gonna be a good thing. And so recovery has taught me that, also like my faith, um, to, not be, to not be afraid. Three weeks later is when we started our scholarship program. I refinanced my house and we put a hundred grand into the organization wow, to awesome. get it started. And so now fast forward um, to you know 2023, we've scholarshiped over 300 people. We have a team of 15 peer coaches we get to do so many amazing things and watch people recover. Our success rate is like 80% just because of the partnerships that we create with people and the relationships that we have. Our foundation is really based on the principles of recovery. And so it's God, service, community, but also making amends, reparations. How can we do better? How do we take personal responsibility? Those are, those are the measures of success, I think, or the attributes of what makes our foundation successful, um, or where we have really good retention, um, both with clients and also with community partners and relationships, as well as our staff, um, because we live a life of recovery. When we started, we, we had to learn. There was a lot of, it was just me and Michael, you know, with our first 40 clients or something like that. And now we've had, you know, well over almost a thousand. And, um, but we had to learn what works and what doesn't work. And we had to learn which people are worth listening to, you know, in this industry and, totally. and who aren't. And so you have to surround yourself with wise counsel. This month, we opened up a community center. We started a family friends loss support group. Cool for um, people who have lost people to addiction or suicide. And it's already really powerful. I remember being in my 20s and I lost my first friend to, to an overdose and having to talk to that mom, you know, and just being like, and I called my mom and I was like, and there's so many times that I called her through my 20s and I was like, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do this. What if I say the wrong thing? What if I do the wrong thing? What, you know, and you have all of these fears. And what my mom always reminded me of, she's like, you weep with those who weep and you rejoice with those who rejoice. That's how you do that. Thursdays, we're doing youth night. Basically, we're doing art night and music night alternately. Yeah. So I have um, Perspectives of Hope. His name is Rob. He comes in, brings all the gear. So piano, bass, electric guitar, acoustic guitar, Whoa. like drums, all of that. And we teach kids. So I get to be there to teach music lessons. Love that. And then at the end, we play a song all together as a band. My first gig was a funeral for a five-year-old. It was not my ambition to grow up to be a funeral singer. It's not what I aspired to be in life. Um, but even now that I get to, I, people request that I come and I share hope and I sing a song or I'll share about the Hornbuckle Foundation and, you know, be able, and it gives these family members, you know, um, kind of something to hold on to of their loved one to like, live on through us, right. you know? Um, and so we have these hope funds that are established, you know, in memory and so to keep, to give us going. And so they're feeling like they're a part of, you know, helping that their kid's life is not in vain, right. you know, or that their loved one, they're like, he loved recovery so much and you guys had the same heart as him. I'm Michael with the Hornbuckle Foundation. Our nonprofit agency was founded in 2015. Our mission and aim focuses on life skills, mentorship, sober coaching, and networking to help connect them with community-based fellowships. Our common purpose is not to create a model that portrays recovery as something that looks the same for everyone. Instead, we encourage people that the hopelessness and desperation they find themselves in may very well indeed be the catalyst to a new and better way of life by perhaps discovering or rediscovering a passion for something that helps add to their feeling of fulfillment, the feeling of fulfillment that we discover in recovery. We nurture, support, and offer whatever guidance we can based on our own personal harrowing journeys through active addiction and from the experience we've gained with our predecessors that showed us the way out.